Hello, Texas Math Mundo audience. Uh, today, we will be analyzing the Region 2021 results. Uh, region contest happened last weekend and they posted the results. I have gathered a panel of coaches that I highly respect, and we're going to have a good time highlighting top performances from across the state, both individuals and teams. I hope you enjoy. My name is Saul Cantu, and this is Texas Math Mundo. Texas Math Mundo, Mundo audience. Today I have a panel of highly respected fellow judges and we're going to talk about the region results from 2021. I'm very excited. We had a good regional uh, tournament this past weekend, and now's the time to highlight some of the strong teams and some of the strong individuals and their performance. Joining me are Eridani. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is uh, Eridani Alcantar. What school are you from? Uh, I coach the uh, Wisdom High School math team. Thank you, thank you. John Delgado, introduce yourself. <laughs> Uh, I'm John Delgado. Uh, I coach the Northside High School math team. All right. Marco Campos. My name is Marco Campos. I coach the Sharpstown High School math team. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. Let's look at Region 3. I mean, Class 3A. Class 3A. Class 3A, Region 1. Take a look. Wow, those scores are impressive. Starting with calculator applications. I'm looking at the uh, GymNet Indians uh, in calculator. Yeah, this one's a really tight competitive region here. Uh, 651 from GymNet versus 644 from Brock High School. Oh, that was tight, man. Yeah, leading the gym ed uh, high school team is Robert Young with a 259. Uh, and uh, then followed by Emma Page with a 203. Then Reed Duncan with a 189. All right. Yeah, man. Um, Joshua Kelly from Brock High School with a 238. Logan Sanders from Idaho High School with a 231. Man, you need at least 200 to break top six. But hey. that's done for state, man. Awesome. Yeah. Some nice, some nice scores. Region 1, Class 3A, the Jim Ned Indians, on to state. Let's take a look at math. Wow. In mathematics, I have uh, wow. the Brock Eagles looking strong. Yep, uh, 558 versus Idaloo, which is 506. So that's a solid, uh, solid margin. So leading the uh, Brock High School team is Ashley Newsom with a 186, Benjamin Lindley with a 184, and Jacob Matsky with a 178. Logan Sanders, the clear lone wolf here with almost two, with almost a hundred point advantage over anyone else uh, from Idalo High School with a score of 292. That's a stud yeah, score. Three fifths of the of the of the score, so, the yeah. team score. He did. Beast mode, Logan Sanders. Wow, that's pretty strong. So the Brock Eagles, state bound from Region 1, Class 3A. Let's take a look at science in Region 1, Class 3A. Looking at science, I have here the Henrietta Bearcats taking it home. Yeah, with a 142 versus a 120 from Gen Net High School. Yeah, so leading the Henrietta High School team is Serenity Brown with a 58, Reese Smiley with a 48, and Katie Yurko or Yurcho with a 36. Ethan Hogan with a 48. Good job, man. Making it safe. Stay bound. All right, good job. So that's the Henrietta Bearcats, Reach, uh, Class 3A, Region 1, state bound. State bound. And uh, rounding off our look at Region 1, Class 3A, let's look at their number sense scores. 
And here I have, again, the Brock Eagles. Yeah, with a 367 team score versus a 280 from uh, Denver City High School. Solid. Uh, you know, I think I saw Denver, so some of the Denver City kids, I think, in calculator and math did pretty solid. Yeah. So may, maybe next year. For, well, yeah. Depending on what group they're on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 true. Right, leading the uh, Brock High School team is uh, Tiff, Timothy Hoffman with a 160, um, Evelyn Metzler with a 114, and Addison Roberts with a 93. All right. It should be noted. Okay, go ahead, uh, Marco. Uh, Joseph Wang with a 129, and Logan Sanders with a 120 made state. Awesome. State bound. It should be noted that number sense uh, team score from Brock is the top in Class 3A. So they're definitely uh, the target heading into state. All right, let's look at Region 2, Class 3A. Region 2. 3A, Region 2, starting with calculator. And here I have the Sabine Cardinals, not to be confused with Sabine Pass from Region 2, <laughs> from uh, Class 2A. The Sabine Cardinals, calculator score. Pretty strong. Yeah. yeah, really clear win there. 742 versus a 546 from uh, Elysian. Elysian. Elysian, Elysian. Fields. Um, so, uh, first place from uh, Sabine High School is Carter Boone with a 252. Uh, second place goes to Bethany Roper with a, also a 252. And uh, third place is from Rosa Gaona with a 238. Just very strong team. Very strong. No room for lone wolves, huh, Marco? No lone wolves here, man. It should be noted uh, that calculator score from Region 2 by Sabine Cardinals is the top one in, uh, in Class 3A at the regional level. So they're, they, they're definitely the favorites heading into state. Cool. Sabine Cardinals, state bound, calculator. Uh, Conference 3A, Region 2. Let's take a look at the math scores. And in math... Sabine Cardinals, again, showing their dominance. Yep, 600 versus a 482. Uh, pretty clear one there, too. That's leading the Sabine High School team is Bethany Roper with a 228, followed by Rosa Gauna with a 182, and Maddie Horton with a 180. So if I'm not mistaken, these, these might be all, uh, an all-girl team. Wow. You might be right. <laughs> I like it. I like yeah. it, man. I need to get a girl on this show. Uh, I'm yeah. working on it. I, she, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure Russ is a, a girl's name, and then Maddie. Beth well, I'm not sure Bethany, Bethany, but it sounds like a girl's name. Yes. Matthew McCormick did manage to slip in there with a 188 uh, individual score for third place. But he's going and to say Eminem, man. Eminem. And it should be uh, <laughs> noted uh, that that math score by the Sabine Cardinals in Region 2 is the top one in all the... Uh, Class 3A regions, and so they're definitely the favorites heading into state. All right, let's go on to science. Class 3A region 2. Science. I have here the Elysian Field Yellow Jackets. Yeah, 232 versus 140, 184 from Sabian High School. Uh, yeah, yeah, that seems like a solid win there. All right, the uh, top top score from Legion Fields uh, High School is Andrew Sims with a 106, followed by Grant Dixon with a 68, and then Reed Parker with a 58. Richard Williamson with a 104 from Pillard High School, and Cole Easley with an 86 from Sabine High School are both slipping in the states. Good for them. All right, Legion Field Yellow Jackets, Conference 3A Region 2, state bound. And finally, uh, rounding off our look at that Region 2, uh, we'll look at their number sense scores. And again, the Sabine Cardinals, a near sweep, a near sweep. Sabine Cardinals. Um, yeah, 328 versus uh, 268. Uh, solid win there, too. Leading the Sabine High School team is Rosa Gauna with a 116, followed by Rodolfo Fierros with a 115, and then Kaylee Kuhn with a 97. 
Yeah, uh, Harmony Marsh with a 117 actually managed to pull off first place here, so good for them. They'll be going to stay as an individual. Good job. That one point difference, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, for all of them, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, top three. That must stink. <laughs> well, the Sabine Cardinals with a near sweep in that region with only the Elysian Field uh, Yellow Jackets taking science. All right, let's go on to Region 3, Class 3A. Region 3, Class 3A. Starting a calculator. And we have the Rogers Eagles. Yep, 462 versus a 393. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a clear win there. Cool. And who leads that Rogers team? Uh, sorry, which one, are, which one are we on right now? Rogers. Region 3 calculator. Oh. My bad. Um, okay. All right. Uh, so the the first place, uh, well, the top score from that team is uh, Courtney Andel with a 177. Followed by Michelle Melendez with a 148. Uh, and then Caleb Kostrun with a 137. Let's see here. Bailey Kala from East Chambers High School with a 149. Managed to open in second place. State bound. All right. The Rogers Eagles, Class 3A, Region 3, state bound. Let's take a look at those math scores. <laughs> nice. Well, that was top three, top three people were, were girls, I think. Courtney, Bailey, Michelle. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's nice. That is pretty good. Mathematics. I have the new Waverly Bulldogs being the class of the region. It might yeah, how dominant was right? that one? Uh, 128 versus 122. Really close. One, one question difference. There. This is uh, mathematics? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I went to science. Um, oh, okay, 476 versus the 304 from Central High School. So, oh, really big margin, really big difference there. New, new Waverly, good job. So leading the uh, New Waverly High School team is Celeste Chapman with a 182. Then Lauren Skillern with a 160, followed by Lane Sherwin with a 134. No lone wolves here. No lone wolves here. And that's the New Waverly Bulldogs, Region 3, Class 3A, state bound. Let's take a look at the science scores. And in science, I got the Fairfield Eagles being the class of the region. Yep. <laughs> um, wait, am I on the right one? Science, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, 476 versus a 304 from Central. No, this is science. Am I in the wrong region? This is uh, region. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to click go. Uh, 128 from Fairfield High School versus uh, 122 from East Bernard. Okay, so one question difference there. That was tight. Really tight. So leading the Fairfield team is Robbie Walia with a 58. Followed by Jonathan Thomas with a 36, and then Nathan Dunlap with a 34. Yeah, Fred Saar actually slipped into first place there with a 62, and Eric Stephenson from Hitchcock High School with a 50. All right, and that is the Fairfield Eagles, state bound, Region 3, Class 3A in science. And rounding off our look at Region 3, let's go to that number sense score. And in number sense, I got the uh, Central Bulldogs, the Pollock Central Bulldogs. Yep, they got a 313 team score versus New Waverly's 201. Clear cut winners there. Central's high school team is uh, led by Randy Stevens with a 129, followed by Tanner Bearden with a 109, uh, and then Braden Thacker with a 75. 
uh, Timothy Watson with a 90 something for state. So good for him, man. And this is one of those yeah, anti. Yeah. This is one of those anti sweep regions where all different four, all different, uh, all four categories were won by four different schools. So uh, interesting. All right, let's take a look at Region Four, Class Three A. Region Four, starting with calculator. I have the Vanguard. Academy Rembrandt and Far being the uh, class of the region. This is one of those uh, team scores where it's really a, a team effort there. Uh, 469 versus a 352 from London High School. So, okay, leading the Vanguard Academy Rembrandt High School team is Mark uh, Latigo with a 175. Uh, Ariana Mejia with a 161, and Jorge Martinez with a 133. For second place, do belong some Lil Wolves, though. It looks like Matthew Bidwell from Gateway High School with a 205 will be making it on in first place, and Nika Boras from Basis Shavano High School with a 175 will also be moving on. All right, Van Vanguard Academy, Rembrandt, and Far, the Spartans, state bound in calculator. Let's take a look at the math scores. From region four and I have here that it's the uh, industrial Cobras the class of the region Vanderbilt Industrial High School yep. a 430 versus a 342 from basis Shibano High School uh, Wow, that's a pretty big margin almost almost a hundred points there yeah. good job uh, industrial Leading the industrial high school team is Jason Merrick with a 200, followed by Aaron Wilfert with a 146, and then Connor Griffith with a 84. Yeah, it looks like this region has like a lot of uh, people who will be advancing the state on their own. Um, Aaron Piando with a 192 from Idea Quest College Prep, and Michael Zhang from Basis Shivano High School with a 154. Interesting name. Interesting high school. Vanderbilt Industrial, state bound, region four mathematics, class 3A. Let's take a look at those science scores. And I have uh, San Antonio Basis Shivano, the Dragons. Yeah, they have, uh, they got a 260 team score versus uh, 204 from Vanguard Academy. Uh, good job, Basis. Uh, that's a pretty solid win. Big difference. The head of the uh, base of Shivano team is Michael Zhang with a 124, followed by Kira McGee with a 70, uh, followed by Clar Clarissa McGee with a 66. Oh, yeah. I, was, I, I, I was still on the science test, my bad. Yeah. We're in science. Well, Michael. <laughs> Oh, my bad. Wait. Oh, I, I was on the science test. I apologize for that. Uh, either way, um, Jesus Christ. Sorry. I, I'm looking. I, I keep looking at the wrong thing. Um, Weston Appelt from Howitzville with the 122. And, uh, oh, wow. These are some very interesting scores, man. Yeah. I'm making a state bound, man. All right. So uh, that rounds out our look at Class 3A. Where in uh, number sense, it looks like the Brock Eagles from Region 1 is a favorite. In calculator, it looks like the Sabine Cardinals, calculator and math. The Sabine Cardinals from Region 2 look like uh, the team to beat. Um, and in science, uh, San Antonio Shivano Basis Dragons look like the team to beat. That's Class 3A. Onward to Class 4A. All right. Class 4A, Region 1. If we look at Class 4A, Region 1, let's look at that calculator score. Nice. And we have the... Oh, this is a sweep district. A straight-up sweep district. The Argyle Eagles look uh, unstoppable, to be honest with you. Yeah, lucky number 777. 777 from Argyle versus a 630 from Big Spring High School. You know, Argyle has always been a really solid team, too. Like, since uh, 
ever since I can remember, really. Hey, so. triple seven slot machine, man. <laughs> uh, leading the Argyle team is uh, James Reagan with the 287, followed by Jasmine Ball with the 252, uh, and finished off with Carolyn Deffenbaugh with a 238. Very, very good scores. My namesake, Marco Tan, getting two, first place of the 294 from Big Spring High School. Hey, that's a nice score. That's a nice score. And it should be noted that that uh, calculator score is the highest in Class 4A uh, from Argyle. I'm going to win state. Oh, <laughs> triple seven. Hit the jackpot. All right, let's look at math. On purpose. I think they planned that out. <laughs> All right, and math. Argyle Eagles. Uh, yeah, a super big difference here again. Uh, seven sixteen versus a five twenty from Big Spring High School. All right, uh, heading the team uh, for Argyle High School is Vidit Tripathi with a two eighty two, followed by Jasmine Ball with a two twenty two, and finished off with uh, Eli Valentino with a two twelve. Anthony Shuey from Hershey High School for, with a 214, our third place, and we'll be moving on to state. Our guy Eagles, Class 4A Region 1, Mathematics, state bound. Let's look at science. The Argyle Eagles. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, Argyle with a 406, super clean sweep here, and they more than doubled Glenn Rose High School score of 178. Wow. All right. The uh, top score from Argyle High School is Lauren Allen with the 206, followed by Isaac Fisher with the 102, and finished off with Danny Roberts with the 98. No lone wolves. No, they don't let anybody pass this one. <laughs> they, they guard that region one fiercely. All right. <laughs> And finally, uh, let's take a look at number sense. And again, Argyle, Eagles. Yep. Uh, Argyle with a 366 and Canyon High School with a 237 right behind them. Well, not so right behind them, though. Hmm. Top score from Argyle goes to Vidit Tripathi with a 156, followed by Evan Harbach with a 109. Followed by Eli Valentino with a 101. That's the Wolves here. We have Edwin Munoz from Andrews High School with the 124 and Cameron Renner from Canyon High School with the 123. One point difference, but both made it in safely. That was a true sweep region with the Argyle Eagles, clearly the class of that region. But it should be noted, the only uh, score that was the top in the state in Class 4A was their calculator score. So they got competition coming at state. Yeah, but good, solid program all around. Solid program, though, must be said. Okay, Argyle Eagles. Now let's look at Region 2. Calculator. Wait, Spring Hill Panthers. Yep, Spring Hill with a 700 score, team score. Okay, solid team. Uh, really clear win here against Athens High School, who had a 471 team score. All right, Spring Hill High School's team is led by David McFatridge with a 273, uh, followed by Ashton Thomas with a 238. Finished off with Jacob Kimbrough from, with a 189. Yeah, I mean, top four scores got sweet. So <laughs> what can I say? All right. That is uh, Region 2, Class 4A, Spring Hill Panthers, state bound. Take a look at those math scores. Spring Hill Panthers. Uh, yeah, 730 team score versus 482. Clear win there again. Uh, man, those are some solid scores. Yeah. Yeah, so their team is led by Ashton Thomas with a 286. Uh, followed by David McFatridge uh, with a 264, and uh, then Jacob Gerfin with a 150. Sorry, uh, Jace Jones with a 180. Sorry, that's right. third score. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, don't let anybody through. It should be noted that that math score is the top math score in Class 4A in the state, and so they are the clear-cut uh, 
Well, they're a favorite. I mean, Argyle has a close score. There's some competitive scores, but they have the top score heading into state. All right, let's take a look at science. If we look at science, uh, it's the Lindale Eagles breaking the grip that Spring Hill had on that region. The Lindale Eagles. Yeah, they had a 588. They, uh, yeah, they doubled uh, the school for talented and gifted from Dallas. Uh, uh, they're 264. Yeah, their team is led by uh, Braden Heiser with a 236, then Ferris Turney with a 232, and finished off with uh, Andre Samarawira uh, with a 120. Nathan Beard from Sunnyvale High School sneaking in with a 190, actually. Wow, significantly higher than the fourth place score. Good job, man. Keep me up with the back. And it should be noted that that science score is the top in Class 4A heading into state. So yeah. the Lindale Eagles with quite a science team. I bet you they have a, a pretty enthusiastic and dedicated coach over there. Let's take a look really at, uh, the, what's that? Score. Four, you really saw the score shoot up. Yeah, very, very solid scores. Very nice. I agree. Let's uh, finish our look at Region 2, Class 4A, with the number sense scores. Number set scores, uh, again, Spring Hill. This was a near-sweep uh, region with Spring Hill uh, Panthers winning three of those ev events uh, with the Lindale Eagles taking science. Yep, uh, 366. Right, we're on number sense, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 366 in number sense uh, versus the 151 from Athens High School. Uh, clear one there, doubled their score. More than doubled. All right, with a clean sweep of the top four spots, uh, Spring High School leads with Ashton Thomas with a 132, followed by David McFatridge with a 117, 117 and finished off with Marshall Bodenheimer with a, also 117. No lone wolves here, man. No lone wolves. <laughs> so that's number sense, Region 2, uh, Spring Hill Panthers, state bound. All right, let's go on to Region 3. Region three, starting off with calculator. It looks like the Salado Eagles are the class of the region. Yeah, with a six seventy two versus Royal High School's five twenty seven. And like these uh, first place teams in four A are really blowing out the competition. They're legit. Like their, legit. Their respect. Leading the Salado High School team. And Chuda's name is William One with a 273, followed by Ashton Fawcett with a 217, and finished off with uh, Paige Ferris with a 182. William did win. Hey, you recognize Good. that uh, fifth place score? Fifth place? Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a kid that practices with us online occasionally. Oh, nice. <laughs> I just thought I'd point that out. All right. Zoe Bowler made it, made it stay on her own with a 210. Cool. All right. And this is Calculator Applications, Region 3, Class 4A, the Salado Eagles, showing their dominance. Uh, let's take a look at mathematics. Mathematics? Uh, uh, 632 from Salado High School versus uh, 550 from Little Cypress, Morrisville. Yeah. Okay. Solid win there. Solid win, but Little Cypress uh, represented. They, they weren't so far off. All right. Uh, Salado's team is headed by uh, Aubrey Watkins with a 224, followed by William One with a 204, and Aaron Trella with a 204. Hmm. Things are be awesome, man. 226, first place. Good for him. It's going to work. You recognize that, uh, that name? Yeah. Was he the only one from uh, Mickey Leland? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, very long look. You know game. Caesar, right? Yeah, yeah. Good job, Caesar Rialta. A true lone wolf. Truly, true he lone. truly is a lone oh, wolf. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. All right, that's uh, mathematics. Let's take a look at, uh, at science, where I think uh, finally we have a team breaking the grip of Salado in Region 3. Yeah. Science. Yeah, Harden. The Harden Jefferson Hawks. Yeah, Harden Jefferson with a 340 versus Lumberton's 210. Okay, big win there. All right, really that, 
The Harden team is uh, Harden Jefferson team is led by Gwendolyn Stone with a 136, followed by Toby Davis with a 114, and Thomas Webb with a 90. Yeah, Webb. Wait, no, sorry, I read that. Okay, Webb Sam from China Springs High School with a 104 sneaky in state. Sorry, I read it backwards. All right. The Harden Jefferson Hawks, Class 4A, Region 3, Science, state bound. All right, let's take a round off a look at that uh, Region 3 from Class 4A with a look at their number sense scores. And we're back to Salado dominance. And that's a really, that's a really high score. Uh, 463 from Salado versus Little Cypress 329. Yeah, like, that's really competitive there. Uh, that's a big... Uh, pretty big difference, but 329 is, is still a pretty solid score. A score from Little Cyprus. Yeah, yeah, they represent. They may not win. It's okay. You don't always win. Just as long as you know it. They represent it. All right. Uh, first place uh, from Salado High School goes to Cooper Chambliss with a 225, followed by Trey Graham with a 143, and to finish off with Ryan Novotny with a 95. Oh, my bad. Was I still on science? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. You were number sense. Number sense. Yeah, my bad. Um, yeah. Uh, Aiden Watson with a 158. So, getting the second place. Perfect. All right. Yeah, number sense. Right. Slado, Region 3. That was a near sweep uh, region with the Slado Eagles taking three of the four with Hard the Harden Jefferson Hawks taking science to go state bound. All right, let's finish off our look at Class 4A with a look at Region 4 results. Region 4 results, starting with calculator applications. Uh, we have the uh, Bandera Bulldogs being the class of the region. Sorry, I had to. I think I accidentally closed out of the... It's there is a lone, a lone wolf here. <laughs> for a four, region four. Oh yeah, Bandera five twenty nine versus Kapun, uh, Port Labaca four seventy nine. Yeah. Really close there. So uh, Bandera High School's team is led by Luke uh, Bitsky, followed by Kristen McNelly. Sorry, Luke Bitsky with a one eighty nine. Kristen McNelly, Christian McNelly uh, with a one seventy, uh, and Duggan. Person with a 170. Terry Shue from Calhoun High School with that 191. That's true, nice. long wolf. true long wolf. All right, the Bandera Bulldogs, Class 4A, Region 4, state bound. Let's take a look at that math score. Mathematics. And I have the Port Lavaca Calhoun Sand Crabs being the class of the region in mathematics. Yeah, just like Argyle, Calhoun's always been a really solid team. They had a 650 in math this time against uh, Achieve's early, Achieve Early's 446. A 200 point difference there. Good job, Portobaca. All right, Calhoun High Calhoun. School is led by Jessica Zhang with a really, really good 336, followed by uh, Carrie Shu with a 188, uh, and then Kelly, Kelly Shu with a 160. Jessica Zhang from Calhoun High School with a 336. Very, very impressive. She's out of control, man. <laughs> More than She's out of control. <laughs> a lot of work in there, yeah. I wonder if Carrie and Kelly are related. <laughs> so any lone wolves advancing? Yeah, J Jessica Zhang, man. Oh, wait, oh, never mind. Uh, Emil Vlasquez for 232. All right. Cool, cool. Yeah, but yeah, Jessica Zhang out of control. I have her in my notes yeah. here. Oh, wow. Well, a hundred point cool. difference from second place. Holy crap. Oh, Man. my God. She's very good. Very good. All right. Maybe she'll transfer to our school next year. All right. <laughs> Let's take a look at science. We got a good school, Jessica Zhang. Come on over. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. All right. In science, I have the La Feria Lions taking it. Oops. Yep, La Feria with a 268 versus Calhoun's 264. That's really close. Oh. Neck to neck there. Neck wow. to neck. 
Yeah, La Feria's team is uh, led by Christian Olivares with a 114, followed by Jaden Crutchfield with an 82, and James Crutchfield with a 72. Just Gonzaga advancing in first place to stay on as a lone wolf with a 156, and Cody S. is from Needleville High School with an 82 as well. Yes, so science, the Lafetia Lions, Region 4, Class 4A, state bound. All right, number sense. And poor Lavaca Calhoun exerts his dominance. Oh, uh, yeah. 370 team score versus uh, Navarro's 181. Credit winners. Again, their team is led by Jessica Zhang with a 223, followed by Kerry Shu with a 90, uh, and then Jeffrey Liu with a 57. Yeah, Elijah Maldonado with a 114 did manage to go advance in second place, and also Pies from Callahan High School with a 110 as well. Yeah, and that rounds out our look. They're picking Jessica's a monster. <laughs> that rounds out our that? look. Yeah, she's a she's a beast. Beast mode. Yeah. Beast mode. Yeah. 223 beat the second score by herself. Hey, let's see if I can get her for an interview to become state champion, which is looking very likely. I need a female interview. Uh, so just to round out, class 4A. In calculator, the Argyle Eagles seem like the team to beat with that 777, triple seven uh, slot machine. Um, in mathematics, you got the Spring Hill Panthers uh, uh, as the lead team going into state. In science, the Lindell Eagles looking like the team to beat. And in number sense, the Salado Eagles from Region 3 looking like the team to beat. All right, gentlemen. I appreciate this look and analysis at all the scores. Uh, you all excited about state this next week? Yeah, see what happens. You gonna join me for a state uh, results show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Any parting you know, thoughts? Any parting thoughts, Aradani? Um, I just want to know what what are like the highest scores regardless of classification. Ah, that's gonna take some time and look and effort. I don't have that time right now, but you're right. That that's a good question. I'm, I'm sure North Shore is gonna be for calculator. Probably. All right. Probably. And then for math. Would it be probably Clements? Sure. Were they the Pioneer? ones that broke the 900? I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah. And the number sense. I'm not sure number sense would be. But Maybe. definitely those two. Any parting thoughts, John? Uh, well, good luck to all the contestants and to everyone who participated in regionals. You know, uh, that's that's still quite an achievement. Good job getting there. Uh, Next year, I know a lot of you guys will try harder. So hopefully you guys get your chance at state next year too. Cool, cool. How about you, Marco? I um, mean, the scores are pretty good. I'm, I'm glad that people kept practicing despite the pandemic. So yeah, it's really great. Good job, guys. Awesome. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I appreciate you joining me. And uh, each one of these schools, each one of these kids, they deserve our applause. And it uh, makes me happy to be able to highlight uh, their accomplishments and their performances. Thank you for joining me, gentlemen. No problem, man. No problem. No problem. I hope you enjoyed that analysis. We enjoyed making the analysis. It's a good time. Uh, if you enjoy the content of this channel, it would really help me out if you could take a moment and please just hit the like button, uh, make a comment below, any kind of comment, and also uh, please subscribe. Uh, it really helps the channel grow and uh, and I hope you can uh, help me out by going ahead and, and uh, subscribing. Uh, we hope to bring many more uh, enjoyable shows to you. I know next week will be the state meet. And uh, we will have a state results show to celebrate state champions uh, uh, in math and science this year. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, my name is Saul Cantu. And this is Texas Math Mundo. Farewell.